everybody, this is Liz Coyne, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress in the Orange Business booth with Guzman. Guzman, thank you for joining me today. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do at Orange. Thanks, Liz. Uh, thrilled to be here. I'm Usman Javed, and I'm the Chief Product and Marketing Officer at Orange Business. Okay, great. So, you know, Gen AI is a big topic here at the show. Before we got started, you were telling me a little bit about what Orange is doing to prepare your customers for Gen AI. So can you tell me a little bit more about that now for our audience? Yes, we were engaged on, with a number of customers on Gen AI, and I think what we learned is the fact that customers are not ready because they don't have the right digital infrastructure for that. So I would say that you know, digital infrastructure is the crown jewel of Gen AI. And when we say digital infra infrastructure, what it means is three Cs, the cloud, the connectivity, and cybersecurity. So what we're really doing is to help customers to build the right connectivity, cloud, and cybersecurity capabilities so that they can have their data at the right place at the right time so they can benefit from the Gen AI use cases. And, and you used to be working at Vodafone and, and now you're at Orange Business. Can you tell me, you've got a lot of experience in telco and, and enterprise, so tell me a little bit about what's involved in building that digital infrastructure. Yeah, so I think first of all, you need to make sure that your network is highly dynamic and programmable. No. Then you need to be able to consume your network in the way you consume cloud services, very much on demand, with the right flexibility, and then consume and be able to adopt the network based on your business needs. Then you need to be able to benefit the power of cloud so that you can place your workloads where it's best suited for achieving the best business outcomes. And then you need to wrap all that with the cybersecurity capability. So that's what sort of the 3C promise is. Mm -hmm. And hence, if you have those 3Cs in the right place, then you can make sure that you can really spin off a new Gen AI use cases much faster. Okay. What's, you know, you can't all do, you can't do all of that yourself. So you must be building like a partnership ecosystem, correct? You, you had some announcements here at the show. Tell me a little bit about that partner Yeah, I ecosystem. think before I talk about the partner, let me step back a little bit and talk about the approach that we're taking with regards to digital infrastructure. Yeah. So we are taking a platform approach. We are really platformizing connectivity for our customers and it's very much three layers so the first layer is we are making our network highly programmable so if you want to make a connection from point A to point B it's wholly, highly automated we can have a script we can run and we can have end-to-end -end connectivity for our customers on top of that what we call is a softwareization layer we work with a lot of our partners and we make their software available integrated as part of our network so those network services that we running on our global tier one backbone can provide services to our end customers. And eventually the, the third layer is what we call a digital layer because customers want to consume services in a self-service manner as a service proposition. And this is how they, what these three layers combine, the programmability, the softwareization, and digital, it's what we call evolution platform. Okay. So this is our approach to be able to provide a rich e ecosystem of partners to our customers because we can directly integrate partners within the platform capability. Okay. And who are some of those partners that you're working with? We are working with pretty much every single uh, partner in the connectivity space, in the cloud, and the cyber security space. I think the recent announcement that we have with Palo Alto Network, yes. um, with their SASE proposition, so security and SD-WAN combined, and that's very unique because we also integrate what we call SP Interconnect, so service provider Interconnect. So our network backbone, so the goodness of our network quality and reliability combined with the security aspects of Orange Cyber Defense and the product offer from uh, Palo Alto. That's one announcement we also announced partnership with SD-WAN. Now they are available also to us Evolution platform with their SD-WAN capability with VMware and Broadcom. We also have uh, announced with uh, Netscope, uh, Netscope as well previously. Uh, we also had a partnership with Cisco that we announced and now the industrial lands. So all these capabilities are now part of the platform and customer can consume them as the way they want. Mm -hmm. um, so, Last question, you know, what do you think are the big trends ahead for this year? Everybody's talking about Gen AI, we're also hearing about, you know, open RAN and open APIs, but what, what are you seeing as the biggest trend ahead for this year? Yeah, so I think the, the, the key trend is very much to get ready for Gen AI. I okay. think we have heard a lot of customers, you know, talking about Gen AI use cases. There are some challenges with regard to hallucination, responsible yeah. AI, and so on. So there are the things that we need to fix as we move along. 
But at the same time, we need to make sure our infrastructure is ready mm -hmm. for that. So when the Gen AI get to level of maturity, the customers can move fast. So I think the biggest trend that we see is that the customers are investing in terms of making their network much more cloudified, on demand, and as well as making sure that they can fix their data problems uh, within within their cloud and also security aspects regarding cyber. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today, Usman. I'm a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome.